Hello, how are you? Facebook. Um, this is Great Life, Nyako Pa. You like my hat? Yes, I got this at J4. I'm a hat lady. I love hats. Well, today we're not going to talk about my hats, but today we're going to talk about Sweet Pork. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I know a lot of you have tried my turkey stuff with sticky rice and I saw a lot of good reports so thank you so much for trusting me well anyway another good dish that you can do with your uh, Thanksgiving it's uh, sweet pork uh, for all those ladies who already know how to, to do sweet pork you can ignore this for my nyako pa who just newly web or junior by onya whatever you will love this sweet pork okay so here we are I'm gonna show you how to do it very very easy and simple your mother-in-law would love you your father-in-law would love you so there's no way that they will kick your you out <laughs> And then all of your names, uh, everybody's gonna come and ooh, ooh, ah, ah, from your turkey, and then your gravy, and now your sweet pork. You got three things on your hands, so who can send you out the door? No way. So here we go. Nya, go pa. Anyway, um, so here we are. I'm going to face my camera now, so enjoy. Okay. I just got my iPhone 10. <laughs> So, uh, it's very, very high tech. So, I don't know how to do it. Uh, maybe you, you guys see me like sideways. Do you have to like lie down to watch me? <laughs> I'm not sure. Because this morning I did a live video. People say they have to like kind of lie down to watch me. So, get on your couch and lie down <laughs> until I can figure it out. Okay, so here it is. Can you see? Can you see that? Okay. So, here I have. One fourth, uh, well, this is I make very small quantity, okay, enough for your family. But if you want to do a large quantity, then you just have to increase, whatever. So, I got sugar, I got ginger, I got uh, lemongrass, I got crushed garlic, and I got big onions, and I got some pork with skin okay this is a, a wild hog okay so it's a little bit different but you could get like you know those pork that you use for pork belly okay so you chop up in a big chunk if you make it into like tiny little pieces then when after you cook then it's kind of like break apart so you won't be able to see all the meat you just get all the liquid so your father-in-law who has no teeth will love you but your king will not be very happy so anyway let's turn around okay so I got my pot make sure my hold on just one second be patient hold on this a second my okay I didn't lose you yet technical difficulty technical difficulty hold on one second my um, little holder is not cooperating with me today by the way the music I'm listening to is um, Vancouver okay here we go I have a pot. When you cook the sweet pork, you want to have a, like a deep pot, big pot, because it will prevent splattering all over your stuff. Okay, and we get it covered. Mm, sorry, I'm not prepared. As Nyako Pa, we never prepare. <laughs> anyway, so I am boiling some egg. Okay, so I go to how to okay. Um going to turn on the heat okay so you will first pour the sugar in here I put one fourth cup if you, I don't want it too sweet okay and then I also needed the sweet soy sauce you need the sweet soy sauce the black one okay sweet soy sauce you need that too 
You can get the one with the blue lid or the orange lid. It doesn't matter. As long as it's like black sweet soy sauce. Okay? So, let me use a different spoon. I'm going to use this one. I know a lot of people hate me stirring. But I need this. Because I want to make sure that I'm going to scrape all the... Um, the sugar won't melt to the bottom. So, if it hurts your ear, just kind of like listen to my music. And don't don't pay attention to this okay you want to turn on the heat uh a little bit high until it's heat up but then you have to lower to like medium low because you want to fry your sugar until it's like golden brown okay so you slowly you have to be patient you cannot turn the heat too high if you turn the heat too high you're going to burn the uh the sugar and then when you burn the sugar, then your sweet pork will not be sweet, will be bitter. Okay, and then your hubby will not be happy. Your king will not be happy, especially your mother-in-law. Oh my God, she will complain. She will go talk to her. Oh, friend, she will call. She will be on the phone all day, talk about how bitter your sweet pork. <laughs> Poor mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn that. So I'm going to put my eggs away. All right, so here we will be patient. You have to use a nice stirring uh, thing because you don't want your sugar to get stuck in here. Okay, so you make sure you stand here and stir. So, what am I cooking today? I have about two pounds, okay? So two pounds of pork and I have like one-fourth of sugar. But you want more sweet? You could do. I don't like it too sweet. So I think this is good enough. You don't want to be too sweet. You don't want to be not sweet enough. You just want to be like a good sweet. Can you see? Is the light bad? Oh, this iPhone 10. It's not as good as my iPhone like 5. How about that? Can you see that better? Yeah, I think that's better. My iPhone 10 is so high tech that I don't even know how to work it yet. It's so different. So I'm very new. I just got it like two days ago. I'm still learning it. Okay, see? It's kind of like melty a little bit on the side here. Not ready yet. We have to make sure that we get into like kind of brown. If you want your sweet pork to be like very brown, pretty color, then you have to wait for the sugar to completely melt, but don't burn. Okay? So we just stand here and watch. Watch, watch, watch. To tell you the truth, I make the best sweet pork in town. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm serious. Anybody who got to eat my sweet pork, they will remember me forever. So, I promise you, when you make the sweet pork at home, everybody will remember you forever. That's what they're going to call you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> okay, see the color? It looks kind of like golden brown. Not quite yet. I'm gonna let it be a little bit more brown than this. Okay, so you melt it. Keep it. Okay. And then now, when it gets to like that brown color, you don't want any more brown than this. You're gonna burn it. Just pour this in. Okay, see, that color, any more brown than that, you're going to get bitter sweet pork. And then your mother-in-law will complain about you every day for seven days. She will call all her sister-in-law, she will call her daughters, and they will talk about your bitter pork for one week. <laughs> that's me, that's what I think. <laughs> All right, then we're going to put in, some people put like, um, hold on one second. One moment. I was gonna show you. 
show you Okay, some people when they cook their sweet pork, they put like um I mean, uh, um, Jennifer and a seed, no, no, and they draw Jennifer, how no, 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 but I don't like it, so I'm not going to put anything like that on mine, okay? And I'm gonna do this, so I'm going to put in my ginger, everything except for the onions. I want to leave the onions for a little bit, okay? I'm going to stick my um fork, my um thing in here so that it get melt too. I'm gonna leave it that. I'm going to pour some of these black. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Pour the black sweet soy sauce in here. To make it more brown that's how we cheated <laughs> because if you're just gonna let that brown by itself of course it will get brown but it's not gonna get that brown so you just kind of shake it in there nyako pop we don't measure anything remember measure nothing we taste with our taste bugs so we become expert on tasting food see it looks kind of brown now okay Now you have to turn the heat to high. I forgot to turn it back on high. Okay. So you're going to put some salt in there. Okay. So we don't measure our salt either. I'm just going to pour in there. Uh, that's about a teaspoon. <laughs> okay. So you just stir, stir, stir. Oh my goodness, it's already smell really, really good. But it's not ready. It's, you're gonna have to cook this for like two hours, okay? Uh, it's, sweet pork takes a long time to cook. So you don't cook for five minutes, you cook for two hours. I'm gonna put the lid on and let it boil. And then at the same time, you're gonna go and check out egg. I'm gonna show you how to do the eggs. How are we doing? Did you learn anything? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how to do the eggs. Uh, and then maybe in about two hours, I will come back and show you what the egg look like. And then when we put that in there. So here we go, we're gonna go look at some egg. Ah, uh, here I go. Here we go. Okay. How do you open your egg? I know those are my my beef. I was gonna make something else. I know you guys know how to peel eggs, but okay. To make sure that your egg will not will peel really good. Hold on one second. gonna put it in here okay can you guys see okay so when you put your egg you peel it inside under the water okay peel it here is so much easier it will peel out really good but you know what I didn't cook my egg that long I'm 
my egg is not fully cooked. But that's okay. That's fine. I turn off the, the fire too. Okay, so you peel it in the water. When you peel your eggs in the water, it's much more nicer and more clean. Okay. If you guys know a better way of how to peel eggs, you can let me know. We all learn together. We learn from each other because remember, when are So we have to take care of each other to make sure that they are like Jotzi, Nana, got to what I what die in your hand. She won't chair more totally to put nearly in other women. Game play calling her to hook up to see you. She moaning like that. Okay. Anyway, I'm not making for a party. I just need to make it for myself, so I don't care. There's only not minji law. It's okay. The problem is because I did not cook my egg long enough. Okay, I'm gonna crack it. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in here so that water can get inside. So it's easier for me to crack. The reason I I, I kind of like kindly tap on it only because I did some really bad stuff. I didn't cook my egg long enough because I was gonna eat some egg. So I don't want to overcook. All right. So now I'm gonna go and peel my eggs. Oh no. Nyamanyo Vitiya kusa wo nya ko pa. Okay, so peel all this egg. I'm sorry. We are not learning how to peel eggs. We are making sweet pork for those people who just came on. Be patient. I'm gonna show you how to darken your egg. Okay. Almost done. We got three more. I'm gonna save one for my eat for me to eat. So, I'll eat the ugly one. How about this? I'll eat this one. This one a little bit ugly. I was gonna eat eggs, so I'm gonna save this one for myself. You guys know, the other day I showed you guys how to do like baked egg. Well, Aldi has like eggs for 54 cents a cart. Carton. So you should go get some egg and bake some egg for tomorrow too, for Thanksgiving. See, nemo chowdle nakya is very easy to peel. See how smooth that egg is? I listen to OG song because those are the time I grew up. Okay, so now you get your eggs. Can everybody see this? Remember the black soy sauce I was telling you? You're going to soak your egg in here I'm going to put the soy sauce this is how you get your eggs really dark you're going to soak this supposedly you're supposed to soak this like overnight but I am Nyako Pa I do everything like in the fast lane so I'm not going to soak it overnight I'm probably going to soak it for like a couple hours until my pork is almost ready but this is all you do okay you just add that in there just do like that so this is how you darken your eggs okay it's soaked in here just put the soy sauce in and you want to be conservative you don't want to use too much uh, you could like even add water to it Kind of like 
document to be cheap. Okay, which is not dark enough. Okay. You're going to let your egg soaked in this black sauce for overnight or until the time you could put it. Okay. I'm gonna go back and check on the pork. This aside. How are we doing? See how sweet pork? You need to come and stir every so often, okay? Because if you don't, it's going to get stuck in the bottom, okay? You don't need to add any water because these pores, they have their own water in there that's going to like come out. So don't add any water, okay? If you add water later on, you're gonna feel very sorry. I'm gonna taste it to see if it's sweet enough or if it's um, salty enough. Sweetness is perfect. Saltiness is perfect. We are nyako pa. We use our eye to measure and everything should be fine. Looks so good. Oh my God, tastes so good. It smells so good. You don't want to put your eggs in right now. If you put your eggs in right now, you're gonna be in big trouble. You know why? If you stir, all the little eggs going to break, it's gonna be all over, and your mother-in-law will talk about you all week long. She will call your sister-in-law, she will tell your husband, she will tell your father-in-law, everybody. Nyama, kajima. ก็จะเกออออออออมาเกลึกปาตอหอนี่มากุสานอกอีลูกเกลาจิตอตุญามามาจิตอเลลินะก็จีนะอีกอึกอกผาดังๆนะยูโนอะลีสดัตส์วอ
chicken 都包好了 ，so I'm gonna bake a turkey tomorrow. I'm going to have him come and help me, and it's called Nyako Pa. Okay, so my YouTube channel will be called Nyako Pa, and you guys can watch me. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a lot of fun stuff. Okay, so enjoy your sweet pork, and oh. If you wanted to do like a big pot, like uh, maybe for like a whole family, you probably want to do like, I would say one cup of sugar to like, so I have two pounds of pork and I use one fourth cup. So you just kind of calculate that. You know how to do math. <laughs> but as Nyako Pa, we don't do any calculation. We just like think in our head. <laughs> So, um, pay her so late. Every time I go so, give me a, a, a thumb down. Um, na na. This year, you are the only a lu. Um, I'm gonna show you my pot. Okay, I'm gonna show you this pot. If you're going to do like a pot, um, lu like lu like go na na like this one. I don't even know how many corn this pot is. I would think that you try half a cup first, okay? Try half a cup, and then after that, if you want more sweet, you can always add more sugar to it. But don't don't overly do too sweet. Um, sweet pork, if it's too sweet, it doesn't taste good. It just like the taste has to be like balanced, like not too sweet. Uh, but sweet enough when people eat it, it's like perfect. Okay, so I'll see you again later in about two hours when my sweet pork is ready and when I'm ready to put the eggs in, I will um come back and talk to you. Bye.